Tyrant Podcast, Episode 5. Today, I'm going to talk about two things in business that I've learned in a relatively short amount of time how important they are. The first one is speed. Speed is immensely important. It can help you anywhere from, you know, coming up, coming up and coming up with and testing ideas as well as, you know, just basically learning a skill to, you know, it, it'll help you in any aspect. So basically what I've found is that coming up with an idea, regardless of how scary it might might seem, just fucking send it. As long as it isn't costing you an, a, a large amount of money, ideally you should test ideas for free, but if it is something, you know, like starting a YouTube channel or streaming or just something that isn't going to be really consequential for you, just, just do it. Do it as soon as you come up with the idea. So with this podcast, I know it was just kind of a, something I've wanted to do for a while, but it kind of reoccurred to me that, hey, I can just do this thing immediately. And so I, I started it the same day. I didn't have a plan or anything. I just wrote up, you know, some bullet points to use and just kind of go over things that have helped me and, you know, stuff that I've learned in the hundreds of podcasts that I've listened to and watched. So speed is very important. And there's also the fact that if you, you know, test an idea and it works, you've already beaten, you know, a bunch of people who, you know, take a week to a month to a couple months to even, you know, roll out their idea. You might come up with the idea at the same time. So the sooner you guys or the sooner you can get that idea out, it's, you know, kind of a ripple effect. So it's very important. Then... Yeah, I mean, if they don't work out, then you automatically learn the lesson, and then you can just go to the next idea, test it out. And you can see how that would definitely, especially over a long period of time, really benefit you. Because not only are you going to have, you know, more chance of success due to the law of large numbers, but you're also going to learn more lessons from doing so. So yes, speed, very important, which pairs very well with point number two, consistency. So this is episode five. Every day I'm doing a podcast. Day five, no breaks. And I've already not only learned a lot of lessons about stuff that I need to work on as far as speaking and, you know, a, a bunch of other stuff, but yeah, speaking and just getting my point across. But I've also already have noticed, you know, some growth in not only my speaking ability, but my channel as a whole and just my network. Last video, I, you know, posted some links for people to reach out to me on and already have gotten some few, some few people reaching out. I really appreciate that. I'm excited to work. I do have a business plan in the works with someone already. I'm really excited to get this going. And yeah, I mean, if you are still hesitant to reach out to me even if it's you know something asinine like you know I'm I'm always down to talk business or you know self-development anything like that send me you know even if you just want to pick my brain or just you know bounce an idea off me like just just do it like I I love talking business I love talking money I love talking self-development any, anything as, as long as it's not bullshit you know a waste of time like you know, a TV show or a meme or something like if it's something genuinely important to something that will benefit you or even me, like send me, send me something. Let's get to work. And then another thing I want to touch on with consistency is I love this quote, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. I struggled with a lot of insecurities when it came to my voice. I'm sure a lot of people do because your voice sounds different to you when you're speaking compared to what it sounds like to everyone else and on a camera. So a lot of people struggle with this. I myself was was included in that. But 
there's a reason for that. And it's a, it's a great lesson to learn because it's everyone's going to be feeling this some some way or another. Actors, you know, people on the news, just YouTubers. I don't know anyone who's just like heard their voice and like, oh, I don't I, like. It's just going to be something that you're going to be initially very uncomfortable with, and that's fine. That's normal. It's supposed you're supposed to grow from, you know, being being uncomfortable. I like to think of it as your body's way of telling you that you need to do it because uncomfortability is a sign of growth. You need to leave your comfort zone if you're going to grow. Like That's why the gym is very important because it's not only very uncomfortable, like if you're doing a set and you start failing, like you feel you, it, you failed and it's, it, it feels uncomfortable. And then when you do, you know, break a new record, you feel sore, you feel physically uncomfortable. That's literally, that's growth, that's progression, that's the essence of life. Like, you need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Cannot stress that enough. That is one of the biggest things I've learned in the past few months. And then, again, I just want to thank everyone for, you know, the support in the five days that this has been going on. It means a ton to me, and... I'm excited to, you know, start talking and networking and just bouncing ideas off each other. Just talking money and business, important shit. So, yeah, thanks again for reaching out. It's going to be a, a pretty quick video this time around. I got, I have to drive all the way 20 minutes for one appointment that way and then 30 minutes that way shortly after. So, I have quite a bit going on, but... Yeah, I, I, I guess real quick, also, since we're on the topic of my job, it's been incredible. Like, I, I did sales when I was 19 or 20. It was a few years after high school. I started selling cars and everything, and my mindset was shit. I was a loser. I was not motivated whatsoever. So I've been, I only did that for like three months, and then decided it wasn't for me, went to doing, you know, detailing and stuff, still working for the same company, but I wasn't in the sales department, but sales job is incredibly important, at least to me or anyone who's trying to start a business or be, just, you know, just an entrepreneur, because it not only helps you speak to people and work on your speech and, you know, influence and that kind of thing, but sales itself like knowing how people process information and you know convince how how to convince people to you know purchase something you know, like through urgency or you know really developing their need it's very psychological and that's something that's really fascinated me you know the past couple of weeks at this job and even even aside from you know the money making aspect the uncapped commission aspect you know, like having to work for your money regardless of you know how much time you put in, you, you get what you put into it kind of thing. But the people I've met, especially yesterday, I was at this house for almost five hours just talking with this, this family. They were, you know, 50, almost 60 years old. Very, very awesome people. They were, we were just sitting there bullshitting, you know, small talk, you know, developing like actual connections and I'm lucky enough to have to work for a company that sells a, a actual good product that will benefit them. That's the problem. I ha another problem I had with you know car sales is you're getting these people in the debt to buy an asset that instantly depreciates when they when they buy it. So when in this as in this aspect we're selling you know siding for your houses, which you know high ticket item is around like almost forty thousand dollars for this. So they were obviously really concerned about the price and everything but with siding it increases the value of your home so there's like a feel-good aspect of you know actually selling a good product that will not only benefit them financially but it's actually a good product that will protect their home and stuff so that really makes a huge difference with sales because if you you have to believe in your product to be able to sell it it's really really hard i've done a few other jobs but regarding sales where the product product was actual shit, 
So having a product that you actually believe in makes it so much easier to sell because people can feel your your love for the product. I guess love is a bit of a stretch, but they can they can feel that. Like if you're actually passionate about something, they can definitely feel that. And there there's a quote by I think Justin Waller. It's like paraphrasing here, but it's basically saying that to to be a great salesman, you have to feel bad if they don't buy it. Like you have to really like want to help them by having them purchase your product. And that's exactly what I've been experiencing with this, with this job. So two years ago, I would not have been able to do this because it, it is commission only. It's very difficult, I guess, because you're not going to sell every single, in every single, you know, appointment and a lot of the appointments are 20 minutes away 30 minutes away not only do you have to drive use your own gas you know wear and tear on your car but you have to sit there and get to know these people and try and sell them could be two two hours four hours no deal drive back home you didn't make any money that day and that's a lot of people can't handle that i sure as hell couldn't but now it's like especially with high ticket sales the the sales that you don't get do not compare to the sales that you do. So I'm not going to speak, you know, dollar amounts and whatnot, but I didn't get a lot of sales this week until yesterday. And the amount of commission I got from that totally makes up for the, the sales that I didn't get. So, I mean, on that note, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ramble here about, you know, my job, but sales is a great, great skill to have especially for me that's I wanted to get another sales job because it is very important important for you know having your own business businesses and it's great to work on your speaking so I'm not only working on my speaking skills doing you know podcasts but I'm also doing it at work and I've really developed a lot in you know the 5 6 weeks that I've been been here so very excited super motivated everything feels like is coming together shit's gonna happen as it as it will and i will keep myself focused and that's what i really enjoy about these podcasts is i'm, I'm actually looking forward the day to looking forward to the day that i'm not motivated to do this podcast to do this podcast because if it's been five days i've been really motivated to do it so I'm, i can't wait to not want to do it because that's where the real growth is. So that's been episode five. I appreciate you if you watched this far. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.